Hey guys, a quick guide on to how to mod Heroes Adventure. First, what you are going to need is a version of Unity. So we'll just click Unity Archive, like Download Archive. And then you want a very, very specific version, which is 2020. And then you scroll down. And you scroll down a bit more. And it's this version, June 30th, 2021, version 2020.3.13 F1. And you will install it. You go to not property. Now, once you have opened Unity, it's going to look like this. Now, first of all, if you do not have a license yet, you can add a personal one. It's free. Just add one, register an account, and that's it. Secondly, you want to add a new project and you want to add the mod editor. Now, how you can find it is simply go to Steam, right click on your Heroes Adventure game, manage, browse local files, and you've got your folder. Now, you will go to Woolen Data streaming assets and you can already see mod editor now when you normally open this mod editor file you will see a zipped mod editor just unzip it get your mod editor and this mod editor folder is what you will select so it would just look like in this case i have pinned it click on it woolen data streaming assets mod editor and you'd open it now once you've done so you can simply open this project and it's going to take a bit now while unity is loading we can talk a bit about the different files and how you are going to be able to manipulate the game so if you now go to your like woolen data streaming assets mod editor folder if you open the mod editor, now next up you go to assets, game resources, XLS, and then you've got one, two, three. These are all kinds of, in this case, Excel files, and they describe a lot of the game. So if you have different martial arts, you have different people, they are all going to be in here. Typically, one is what you'd want to address for general modifications three is what you want to address for localization so if you'd want to add a new language and if we for example you can open one of those files i'm just gonna pick one right here which i'm familiar with drag it down you can see this file, parts of it are in Chinese, parts of it are in English. And in this case, like what I did as my first mod is I simply altered the free mode. These are the free mode um, multipliers. I changed these. And that's exactly what we're going to be doing in this tutorial as well. But now with those Excel files, here's like a general explanation of what they are about. You can find this file on our Discord as well, like the official Heroes Adventure Discord. And I tried to like categorize what each section does. So typically if we want to add new combat skills, you're going to need to address those Excel files. If you want to add something like with a character, you need to find the NPC in character section, buffs, and well, in fact, for example, this consumables is for well, any consumable that grants a buff, be it an XP scroll, be it food. This Excel is used for the level or 10 strength, 25 strength traits, if you know what I mean, minus 100 wisdom, plus 100 wisdom traits. You just like get a general understanding of what each Excel does as it's. To be honest, even if you can read a bit of Chinese, it's very hard to understand just the titles and 
especially how small they are in the file explorer. Okay, so now we have opened Unity. Now the very first thing you are going to want to do is click on mods, build mod, and you should always have test mod 0001 and you want to click on it. It's basically going to process everything you're going to then need for a further mod. Now, after you've done so, we can actually start creating our own mod and it's done via new mod, type in the name. It's going to be test three. Name length is illegal. 3M, okay, you need at least 10 characters. And it's going to create a mod. Now, if you go down here under assets, first of all, you can close the folder again. You can see mods, then we can see our test 3M. And here we have the Excel folder. And well, we can show it in Explorer. And there you've got your folder. Now we are also going to be opening another one, another explorer, because what we are going to be doing is going to go to the mod editor and find the Excel files I showed you beforehand. Now this mod is going to be relatively simple. We want to modify the free mode modifiers. And to do so, well, I can use my cheat and go through it. Like one of them right here is custom difficulty configuration which is this one. So I will just head over here, search for it. There you go, it, copy it, paste it over in the other one. Now we can just simply open the Excel file. And once it decides to open, there you go. Is this the correct one now? I don't know. Once we open it, there you go. Now what we are going to want to change, and well, I know it is the bottom most modifier. You could also change the top mode. Basically, we, you want to change one of the current settings in the game. We'll just override it. Because if you were to add another one, you'd also have to modify the UI, and that's not fun. Now you can see there are in a total of eight different modifiers. But if you look over here, it's deprecated. The first four are true. And that's because in the old difficulty 6090, these were used. And these are for the new 2560. So what we'll first of all do is like change it to 300%. You can also change how much score it gives. I don't know, 800. We can do the same, like this is attack and defense, pretty obvious. You can do the same for HP. Give it like 4,000 points, also like, I don't know, 1,500%. Same, this is tech, light, it's Qingong. Hard to understand, but if you've played the game, you'll know it. 1,500%. And then the last thing we are interested in would be action speed. Also 1,500%. And now we have modified this one. And if you were to simply build the mod right now, you would have updated the UI for the settings menu. So it would display 1,500% action speed and so on. But obviously we don't want to just update the UI, but also the buffs enemies receive from the difficulty. And well, I already said it, buffs they receive. So we open the file or we search for the file buff you can find it, we copy it, copy it over, open that file. Did I close the other Excel? I think I must have. Because we are now wanting to modify these actual modifiers. And the way you can find them in here is you pick out one of these clues it does not matter. Like I know this is the actual one which is used, but you can also uh, use attack defense. Search for it. You will only find one result, which is this custom difficulty attack defense seven. 
And if you look at it, they perfectly match. And now if you go over a bit, at some point you will find continuous effects, which is what this buff provides the enemy. And yes, it's hard to read, but you can see 1.5, previously it was 150%, makes sense. So we simply change it to like 3, 3%. Now next up we'd have custom HP and look at that, it's right below. I think we did 1500%, so it's like 15. Qingong, oh, 15 sounds great as well. And then you have like custom action, 15, perfect. And now we can save it. In fact, this is all there is to our like current very basic mod. So if I were to go back to Unity, I have updated the two axles. Now I can go mods, build mod, select my test 3M, let it run for a bit, and it's going to compi compile the mod. See you in a moment. Okay, a moment was quicker than I thought. You can see it's completed. So what you can do now is, if you go down here to assets, at some point it's going to be exported. You can show it in your explorer. And there you have your mod. Now the way you use your mod is you go back to your Steam folder, which you obtain via Steam. You create a mods folder and then you simply paste this in. And now we are ready to start our game. Now, if you open your game, go to the workshop, at some point you should see a mod. Currently it's called no name and does not have a description, but we will get to it yet uh, later, like in a moment. But we can just select it. In this case, I know it's the mod and if we try a new game, we can look at that current coefficient 16,150, 300 percent, 1,500. That that looks pretty damn solid. Now, obviously, if we load a run as well, since we manually updated the values instead of creating new ones, it should also be reflected in the game. and we wait for the game, as always. What else could we be doing? But well, I have Unity open, I'm recording. So yeah, there's that. Unity uses a lot of RAM, so be prepared. And it's a shitty program altogether. Just mentioning it. Um, let's look at the enemy. I think 15,000 Qinggong and 1,600 action speed looks pretty solid alongside 50k HP. Yeah, yeah, I think our mod definitely worked. Those are like obscene numbers, which is why I picked 1,500. It's a bit easier to see the difference. Now, can the Schiffer guy reach? No, nah, not 100k, but there you go. That is the first iteration of our mod. And let's get back to the next thing. So, okay, it's recording, perfect. So now we want to maybe alter some aspects, maybe add some other mod ideas, whatever. First of all, what we are going to be doing is changing the info. And for that, you open your mod folder down here, you click on the arrow, you find info, you click on info, you can select your mod name, test two, three, I don't know, mod author, me, mod description, hello. You can add a different logo. There is a like perfect aspect ratio, but it's also fine with others. Typically, what you, like the easiest way to do it is you go show an explorer for info. You find yourself an image you want. 
you rename that image to logo.png, you delete this image and paste the other one in here. That's how easy it is. But now, ah, Excel, yes. Perfect. But now let's say I also want to trick some enemies, which is what I did in my mod. And for that, well, if you want to tweak some NPCs or characters, guess what we need to do? We need to find something on NPCs and characters. And in this case, it's the whole character pool. So if I just go ahead and paste it in here, we can find this exact file, copy it, paste it. And then we simply open it. Now, this is an absolutely massive file with a lot of IDs, a lot of characters. Typically, the easiest thing to do or like how to figure stuff out is using the Chinese. Like you look up the Chinese character uh, names or char characters for the name. For example, I could tell you this is Duke Chai because it says Chai Wang Ye. And well, I can also tell you this is, for example, the Confucius guy. Uh, yeah, I think this should be the Schiffer guy, but let's take Confucius guy. Because now, well, you have a lot of different options for this as well. Like, look at it if you scroll to the right. A lot can be ignored, but let's go over the important one. But to be honest, you can also look at it yourself. What I'll do is I'll change the stats of the Confucius leader. So these are like his base stats, constitution, strength, intelligence, dex, luck. I will change it to 20. Now, maybe the Confucius leader is not the best option as he's sucked off in my playthrough, but we'll still see it with a strength value. You can also change the starting level, which well for us does not matter too much. There are a lot of like different attributes. You can add more melee attribute to him. Let's go 250. Um, let's just add 150 musical as well. Now you can change the item he is holding. For example, you could change the weapon. And well, I'd have to look up the ID right now, which will maybe do another video. Um, not what I meant, sorry. Thirteen oh six six. And what else could we go for? Twelve oh six eight. Perfect. Now these are also the kung fu, uh, like the martial arts here, has the kung fu, which is like the name, then a vertical bar, the level, and the first, like the first one is an ultimate move, as such it only has one level. Then the next move level, so you can see they're like all level nine. You can manually add the different ones as well. Here you can see some traits. You can manually add multiple ones as well. Here you can see how neutral is misspelled. Don't worry, there are a lot of these in there. The items he's holding and so on. But to be honest, this is enough for the showcase. So we will just save the Excel. Can close it again. Go to Unity again, and obviously what I typically do just to prevent issues is go to export it, open it, delete everything we already had, go to mods, build mod, and now we'll click it. Last time it took like 20 seconds, so I'm guessing it's going to be that long again. Did I close it again? I did not. Perfect. Uh, this is mods, we delete the old test M. Um, 
got like five notifications on Discord. Ignore, ignore, ignore. Okay, 30 seconds maybe. Easy. There you go. It was built. We open export it, open this, drag it over, and we can start the game. Now, typically, as the mod is, has the same name and I did not disable the previous one, it should automatically be enabled again as well. Although, ah, never mind, I did not have a name previously. So, yeah, you can see, okay, it does here. Um, is, is enabled automatically to test to three. Hello. And let's test it. Did it work? Did it not work? And keep in mind what we did is we modified the Confucius leader. He should have a more melee stat, musical stat, a lot more strength and different equipment. Yes, please game. So we go to the Confucius guy. And trust me, figuring all out like this whole thing out was awful. I spent like five to six hours on this. Now look at this info. Yo, he's looking good. Mighty strong. Look at this fist value. Look at this musical value. Imperial seal, immovable mountain, and Kunlun. Alongside 1296 action speed. Yeah. As you can see, it has taken effect. You'd need to either, and that's something you could do, like you could apply this change with the stats to everyone, only select people, but you'd have to do it manually and so on. There are a ton of possibilities. So I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial as to how to do mod it. See you guys next time with probably like a playthrough. Bye.